Pro Tools Import Session Data command lets you import tracks and track information from one session into another session. Let me show you how that works. I have a simple session here with a basic guitar track. And I happen to be getting ready to do an orchestral recording, and I have a template with all of my orchestral tracks all set up, pan correctly, plugins added, and so forth. I'm going to go to Import Session Data, and I'm going to find that particular session. By the way, Import Session Data works with OMF and AAF files as well. Once I've selected the file that I want to import from, I get this dialog box. And there's a lot of information here, far too much for me to go through in this single video. But I'll highlight a couple of areas. First up is this time code mapping option. If I'm importing in something with time code, let's say from one film project to another, I want to make sure that my time code lines up. So any audio files I'm bringing in will lock to the correct time code in my current session. I can also choose the starting time code or map the time code relative. Then down here, I have all of the tracks from the old session. I can highlight the ones that I want to import, and you'll see the drop-down changes to new track. Or I can select individual tracks. I can also map the older tracks to tracks in my current session if they are of the same track type. For right now, we'll just select all of these tracks. At the bottom left, we can import other things from the old session, such as the tempo meter map, the key signature, markers and memory locations, window configurations, and even the pre-settings for the Avid or Digit Design Pre. This drop-down determines what components from the old session I'm going to bring in. I can select all, none, or just the ones that I want to use. For example, I may just want to import in the plugin assignments or my output assignments. For right now, we'll import in everything. I'll click OK, and you'll see very quickly all the tracks come in from the old session, but not only the tracks imported, but all the setting information on each track. So as soon as this finishes, we will go over to the mixer, and here you can see all of the orchestral tracks, all with outputs and inputs defined, all with panning defined, plugins come over, and so forth. So that's an example of how we bring in all the settings from an old session into a new session. But let's say I just want to bring in specific settings. Here is a guitar track, and I have no plugins on it, but I have mixed this same type of guitar before with the same mic setup, and I want to grab the plugins I used on a previous session and bring them into this session. So let's do that now. We'll once again go to our import session data command. And this time we'll choose the old session that has the guitar plugin settings that I want to use. And we'll just bring in the guitar track and we'll map it to guitar low. So guitar low in the old session is mapped to guitar low in this session. But I don't want to bring in all the stuff. I don't want to bring in the audio, for example. I just want to bring in plugin assignments and plugin settings and automation. And that's it. Now I click OK. It doesn't overwrite the current audio track because I didn't import the old audio, but I do have the plugin settings. So that's a great way of using import session data to bring in just selected information from old sessions. While I'm here, let me show you the new bounce to MP3 command. You no longer have to purchase that separately. It comes with Pro Tools 9 and you just choose MP3 as your file type. It works the same as other bounces, except you get one extra screen. This lets me fill out ID information, which will show up in the MP3 file. For example, title, artist, and album. And then I can change the encoding speed and the bit rate. And then I just give the file a name. So that's how easy it is to bounce to an MP3 in Pro Tools 9. So two new features in all versions of Pro Tools 9, import session data and bounce to MP3.